We're here in Cape Town today having the Cape Town leg of the Predicting the Future lunch. Um, we selected 18 young people from around South Africa who are really passionate about the things that they're doing, where they are with what they have. And now we're joining them in Cape Town today to tell us a bit about who they are, what their aspirations are, share their thoughts on all the topical issues in the country from education to entrepreneurship to leadership um, and to their futures. And really what we're hoping to get today is from them a view on what leadership in our country will aspire to be, will aspire to do and will aspire to deliver um, in the next 10 to 15 years. It's a beautiful day, um, but it's perhaps more beautiful to hear um, enthused, aware, conscious young people talk about their journeys and more importantly how they're going to use their journeys to benefit their communities, to benefit their own families um, and ultimately to benefit the country. My name is Sizwen Zima and I'm, I'm a 21 year old from Kailicha. Uh, my business that I'm running, it's a courier service that collects and delivers medication from public facilities to the client's doorstep. So the main aim is just to minimize the overcrowding at public facilities that happen. So when people go and fetch medication, they wait there for long hours and long queues. So we try and minimize that by saying, you wait at home, go to work, do whatever you want to do. We get your medication at your doorstep on your prescription date. There's a whole lot of opportunity. But other than that, it's the people in South Africa. That's what I love the most. I mean, the concept of Ubuntu, I really love that because, I mean, you go to Joburg, you meet this person, you meet in a taxi and you start chatting and suddenly you develop an, a good relationship. And when you go to Devon again, you can actually, ah, can I visit? I'm coming to Devon to visit. So I really love the vibe and the character of the people in South Africa. From a developing country to a developed country, you need to start at the bottom. You need to develop the youth because in the next 15 years, we are going to be the engine of this country. I'm not saying neglect other people, but you need to try and focus on the youth. Because we young people have, have so much potential. It's just that we haven't discovered it. If you could start internalizing and thinking how much potential we have and start taking initiative, that's when things will actually start to turn around and this country could be a better country. Okay, my name is Luka Nyumpumela. I'm from the rural settings of the Eastern Cape called Wittlisi near Queenstown where I was born and bred from being selected as one of the 18 successful candidates to be part of Ignite SA. That is a reminder of to me that I'm great, I'm destined for greatness and I've got an impact to, to that I could make in this world. We need to start engaging with one another because together we can do more. There's no place like home. I've never been to other places. I've never been out of Africa, South Africa, but I am content with just being in South Africa. I feel as if everything we've got is within our borders and it depends on us. Do we take the initiative? Do we take the steps to go out and get there? Some things require us to, to do a bit more than to let someone else give it to us. But we need to stop complaining and rather do something for the outbreak of South Africa. And in my generation, I'm part of those people that will make a change. My name is Mumpundo Langisa. I'm from KZN, Peter Maritzburg. I think South Africa is full of potential. Like, there's so many opportunities that we as the youth should grab a hold of. It's high time that we, we take the responsibility, that we don't wait for the future, that we start doing things now. You know, we don't have to have 50,000 rand or 100,000 or a million rand in our account to make a difference. All we need to do is we need to think and we need to use our time, volunteer. So I think the first thing that youth need to do is educate themselves on what, where to go, who to talk to, so that when the generation of ideas come, they know who to approach. Because we need to create jobs now. Um, we need to we need to think out of the box. We need to be innovative. We can't be getting things from China. I'm tired of seeing products made from China. It has to be now made from South Africa. 
the youth today are leaders. They truly are leaders. Whether it be based because of the education that we're now receiving, whether it be because of us knowing past mistakes, whether it be anything, but the fact that it's working. The youth is starting, is waking up. The youth is starting to move. And I feel that there's a lot more to come. The youth actually doing things, taking responsibility. You know, because I live by a saying that the youth is said to be the future of South Africa. We're made to believe that we can be world's greatest leaders. You know, and I've always wondered why not start now? Take responsibility now at an early age. We don't need to wait for the future. It's incredible to think that there's hope. There's actually hope for South Africa. There's hope for the future. And that I think that we should just we should just look forward. My name is Nisali. Um, I'm from the Eastern Cape. My surname is Makaga, so it's Mithali Makaga. And um, we, so we started this platform, it's called Future Me. And um, in this platform, I think currently we have about 400 people. So initially what we did is we, we first posted, we followed all the influence, all the big groups on Twitter, on Facebook, and what we do is we just take, we just copy and paste anything that they, they, they post on those websites. So internships, bursaries, anything that's worth knowing, anything that people, that's worth reading. Um, and we posted in this group and after a while people started to, to share things themselves because what people realized that, that they were also, they also knew things but no one else knew about them. So it's, it's kind of like a small little hub. It's nothing major, but it's really encouraging to see that people are also now sharing that kind of information. I think young people are phenomenal. I think there's a fire in us that we need to preserve. I'm excited about young South Africans. I think we do have challenges. I mean, there are things that we need to work on, but I'm excited. Sitting and listening to some of the young people just at the table, it's phenomenal to see what people can do in a short space of time and how passionate people are. And I think that's the one thing that's different from young people and old people, is that we have a passion. We have an energy about us. And I think if we use that, we can really affect change. I want you to give leadership a new look. I want to give it a new hairstyle. <laughs> We need leaders with integrity. We need leaders who are thinking about the, the greater good. We need leaders who are progressive. We need leaders who aren't scared to try out new things. And we, are, we need leaders who aren't afraid to fail. But I think more than anything, we need leaders who are accountable, knowing that every single move that as a leader you make, you need to answer for. There needs to be a rational connection between what you're doing and, and the consequence. I think this is an awesome platform. I think it's absolutely incredible. Personally, in my own capacity, I wouldn't have been able to meet any of these people. But I know that as a collective, they can be changed. I'm Koshana Kwetu, originally here from Cape Town, in Langa. You know, you have to study, you know, that, that is one thing that I encourage, you know, we have to all be studying, we have, we have to all make something out of ourselves. And I've started this scheme, it's my pudding scheme, uh, where in my community where I stay, I just go around with the little that I have, you know, because I'm working. So the least that I can do is give back, you know, to my community, give back to my neighbor who, who sleeps um, without any food in their stomach, because at least I'm privileged enough to have my both parents. So I, I, I do what I can and I make sure that other people are sleeping with something in their stomach and, and showing them here I am um, I'm single I'm studying I'm working I'm happy and I'm headed for success I'm headed for success in, in, in Langa you know I, I want to be the next girl from Langa that will be seen you know somewhere and, 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 and people would be saying well she grew up in Langa she grew up in that two bedroom house you know and she she has made it she has made it because um, it's not only people that are coming from from certain backgrounds that they can make it it's basically everybody because every Everybody, in, in, in every individual, the greatness in everybody, you know, in making a change in their lives and yeah, so let's see. My name is Wandi Sile Nageto. I come from Ekailicha. I'm a young social entrepreneur. I run three projects uh, well, along with my partners. Mm, I'm 23 years of age. These projects are social driven projects. They all serve to solve a social problem within the community. These projects are, are called Years Express, Elima Cleaning and Recycling, and the 18 Kenston Museum. 
this project actually allow people to do things for themselves instead of waiting for the government to do things for them. This project able people to get them to be motivated in, in, in a way so that they could actually do things for themselves. Um, what I want to be is that person that people could actually see that comes from the township, that has made it from the township and I want to be the person that people could actually come to when they have problems. I don't want to be Superman but one person that is able to help, you know, just to lend that helping hand. Ignite SA has given us an opportunity to learn from other great people, great young people who are doing great things around South Africa. And I wish more programs like this could actually happen around the South Africa itself. And I want them to come to a college and actually help me to inspire more young people so that we could do something great for the young people. The country is filled with a lot of opportunities. There's a lot we could do as young people. We just need to be positive, well-driven. And yeah, man, there was apartheid. We got through that. Now, there are these difficult times with our government. We'll go through that only if we are positive. And if we work together, no racial barriers, just one nation. So um, we're just wrapping up the uh, Predicting the Future Lunch in uh, Cape Town and I've got to say that we're totally blown away, kind of uh, extremely humbled and impressed at what the future holds and as well as the, uh, with what the youth of South Africa have in store for us. I think the six Cape Townians that uh, joined us today are, are definitely going to be household names in South Africa and we're very, very proud to um, expose them through ignitesa.com.